Welcome to this Lubuntu screencast. And in this Lubuntu screencast I want to show you the application called Shape Collage. But before we can start Shape Collage or download it, we first need to install Java. And to do this we go to the menu Preferences Synaptic Package Manager. And here we search for the package called OpenJDK-6. And we need to install the OpenJDK-6 Java runtime engine. This is this package here. Just mark it for installation, hit apply and apply again. And a few seconds later it will be installed. So the first thing that we need to do now is go to the website called shapecollage.com. And here you can see what this application is all about. It's all about creating a photo collage that you might want to share with your friends or family. So the first thing that we need to do is download Shape Collage here. It will just simply download as an targz file. You can then extract it wherever you want. And then execute it simply by going to your download direction. Open up a terminal and type in dot slash shape collage and a few seconds later it will start up it's the free version of shape collage there's also a pro version so this is the basic interface on the left you have a drag photos here option where you can see all your photos and in the middle you can see the status and a little preview window here and on the right you have the uh, option or you have the possibility to set some options for your uh, photo collage. So the first thing is that we, the first thing that we, uh, that I will do is just simply add some pictures here from my wallpaper collection. It will ask me if I want to include subdirectories. I say yes. Uh, I have in total 153 photos, so this is good. Now I can set a shape and size. But first of all, I want to see a little preview how it will look like, and this preview button will give me a rough preview of how it will look like. Of course in these squares that you can see here these are the uh, photos that uh, or these squares are the squares where the photos will be put in. So all my photos here in the random way of course. I can set some other shapes here like for example a heart or a circle and even if I want to make a photo collage for a happy birthday party for example I can set in text here happy birthday if I want to I can also add some fancy fonts and some fancy text spacing. I can preview here it shows me how it will look like and in a few seconds of course there you have it happy birthday I think this looks pretty cool doesn't it and then you have also the option to set some more this will open up the custom shape collage imager image editor so you can <laughs> create an custom collage here if you want to. Ah. It doesn't look like a smiley does it? Ah. Just preview it. Yeah, it looks pretty cool doesn't it? And of course you have also in this editor some custom presets like for example the cat, the half moon but also a map of the whole world. <laughs> this is pretty cool but you need at least I think 500 pictures so that this map looks pretty much exactly. I can show you this in the preview. It's a pretty pretty pretty... I can see the shape of the image of the of the world map but it's not perfectly. So I will create an... Oh, I'll create a rectangle here and we'll then create an image, save it on my desktop as test uh, JPEG. I can also set PNG or if I want to edit this image later on I can also set the photo format uh, to Photoshop so you can edit this then with, uh, within GIMP or Photoshop if you'd like to. Hit on save here, quality 90% I think is pretty good. It will create the layout for the photos and then start creating the image. Of course you can see here on the right there are some other options. Normally the collage size is set to auto if you want to 
a specific size you can click on this auto and it will then give you the option to set the size manually but beware the photo size is then set to auto so you cannot set it uh, both to manually this does not work but what you can do is also set the amounts of photos that will be used to create this photo collage so if you have a very large library and you only want to have about 200 pictures and this photo collage you can set it here and you can set the spacing to uh, whatever you like then you have also the appearance tab and as you can see my photo is already rendered i can open it up i have it on my desktop here and you can see how it will look like you might also notice that on uh, this bottom right there's a water mark. This is because we are using the photo collage free version. The free version comes with this watermark in every image that you will create. So this is a little notice. If you don't want this um, f watermark you can buy the pro version of uh, photo collage. Uh, if you, as you can see in the image photo collage has created a nice border uh, around these images and there's also a little shadowing effect. You can set this uh, effects and even the background, as you can see the background is white, if you want to in the appearance tab. Uh, first of all you can set the background, it's normally set to white, you can set it to transparent if you want later on add something underneath it. <laughs> and you can also set a photo if you want a photo as a background image. Then you can set the border, you can set the border uh, size, it's 3.3% in this case, I think this is pretty cool. And you can set of course the color of the um, border. And you have also some advanced options and these advanced options are pretty much good. You can set the rotation randomness for example or the average uh, angle of a rotation, so how the picture should rotate uh, and the max angle of the rotation. Then you can set the shadowing effect here and some other options, uh, for example, make all photos the same size. If you want some photos to be a little bit bigger, some a little bit smaller, you can do this uh, as well. So I will do this here and just simply recreate this photo collage to see how it will look like. Yeah, this is basically the uh, shape collage photo collage uh, creator. In the pro version it allows you to do many many other things like create new projects and save them and open them. <laughs> and um, yeah it's pretty much a very nice application even in this uh, freeware version. And you can also add photos from the web as I can see here now. So you can enter URLs to web pages, for example if you have hosted your photos on Picasa, on Flickr or whatever site you might host your pictures, you can set the URL here and it will then load all the pictures from there. This is also pretty cool, isn't it? So this is Shape Collage. I think this is a pretty pretty cool, cool application uh, that allows you easily to create uh, photo collages for your friends and family. So thanks for watching this screencast and until the next time.